Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to part 9 of the Off series. If you're joining us from last time, we went to a library, and we wrote down the suits of every page that we found. But we weren't able to find all the pages, so I just kind of, I don't know, got lost, got off track. Off track, haha, <laughs> like the name of the game, get it? Haha! <laughs> Uh, grade A humor here. All right. So, uh, we're here. We're at the start of the Pink Town, or as Jim called it, the Commander King Pink Town, because that's really cool. So we're just going to start walking around and see what these guys have to say, because I had no idea these guys even existed. Apparently there is a park. We can't go to the park. Maybe it's better that way. There has to be a good reason. Uh, really? Does there have to be? I have no fear. I know how to stop being scared. I am not afraid. Do you want to know how? Come a little closer and I'll tell you if you're not afraid. Um, a little creepy, but all right. This page has enlightened me. I'm not afraid now. Do you want to be free from fear? Sure, why not? Give me 100 credits and I'll give you the page. Ah, uh, okay. I see what type of scheme this is. Here, I'll give you the page. If someone tells you that they'll cure your fear if you give them money, it's probably, uh... The risk of getting a paper cut has gone. I will never fear. Well, good. So, yeah, if if someone says they can get rid of your fear if you give them money, <laughs> even if it is for the Eight of Hearts, then uh, just give them a friendly no thank you. No thank you at all, good sir. Hey, a shop. A uh, commercial area. The mall is full of specters. It's terribly frightening. And there are thunderbolts and lightning, which also would be terribly frightening. Galileo. <laughs> Buenos dias, uh, misanthrope. What's a better place to shop than a shopping mall? So, apparently that's a mask and not a massive overbite. So I'm going to voice him as if he has a mask on for the uh, rest of the time that I'm going to be voicing him. So I hope you're okay with that. If you're not okay with that, you can go ahead and call me at 555. I don't care. Haha, <laughs> uh, please don't try calling that. 555 should be a phone number that you wouldn't be able to call anyway, but if you do call it and it does work, then I'm not going to answer it. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for using that joke now. But anyway, let's go ahead and use the monies that we've gotten from the killing of the random monster things to buy stuff. And then equip that stuff. Okay, let's equip this bat, the Emmanuel bat. Uh, the David Tunic, Emmanuel and David, both biblical references, if I do say so myself. And we'll go ahead and put uh, the uh, loyal symbol as the best one. Uh, keep the oil aura of justice on there and color of sadness. No, I would think the color of sadness would be blue. Do I need anything else here? Do, 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 do. I think. I think that's it. I think we're good to go. We'll go ahead and save it since it's super convenient. Can I get through here? Special sale. Buy two pounds of awful, get one pound free. This is an ad for bottles of smoke. This is an ad for plastic treasure chests. This is an ad for metal tables. This is an ad for crude meat. Wow, two pounds of awful for for the price of one? That's, uh, that's great. I guess that's a great price. I suppose. You live in Bismarck? Strange, you're not wearing a tie. Are you sure you don't want a tie? These barriers prevent people from falling. They're even made of soft, harmless rubber. That's good. That's really good. These barriers prevent people from being able to... Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to do it again. The residential area is for residents only. Imagine the panic if intruders ever sneaked into our homes. 
killing our people. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Because everyone's coming into our residential areas. Huh, it's like a real gated communities. Okay, so we know we have the extra page. So we can put that... This book has a page in it. Oh, that's already done. Okay, well, what about this one? Is this book... Okay, that's also done. So that means I have a 50-50 shot of finding it on this one right here, which is already done as well. Well, I now have a 100% chance of finding it. Good. Hello there, upside down ghosts. How are you guys doing today? Oh, you know, everything's just flip turned upside down. Uh, did you, did you get that from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? No. Okay, well, where are you guys born then? Uh, West Philadelphia. Mm, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hit you with my bat until you succumb to uh. A type of undeath that I can't even really fathom at this point in time. Okay, sounds good to us. Thanks, bye. Adversaries purified. Oh good, and I leveled up. Well, the, the circle did. The sentient circle. It's impossible to pass through. I must have to talk to the librarian now that everything is in order. I guess that's what I do. Maybe he'll open it back up. Oh shoot, I can't remember what voice I gave the librarian. I put the pages back into their books. Aha! That's... That's very good. I'll, uh, I'll let you up then. That's... That's great. The, the fourth floor is now accessible. For you and you only. It's hard to remember distinct voices for everyone when they all look the same. Oh, good. The shelves are fake. All right. Anything up here? Hey, hey, it's the cat. How you doing, cat? Kitty, kitty, kitty. How you doing? You are not the judge. Who? Who are you? What is that in your hand? You're not the judge. The... the judge? No. No, I am not. My name is Javet. I am the creator of this city. I am also the one leading the phantoms, the royal instruments of my vengeance. You're the chief of the specters. Specifically, they are my arms, sent to me by the queen to restore justice to this zone. You must have been very determined to set foot onto the stairs of this library. I recognize in you a certain courage, an exceptional trait for a fear-riddled place such as this. However, my revenge will not leave anyone unpunished. Thus, you shall be the first to succumb to the blasts of my ectoplasmic army. Okay, kitty. I do not need any specters yet to eliminate you, you poor sport pajama-wearing clown. I will finally get a taste of justice. I... First of all, uh... Ouch. <laughs> that was actually a really good insult. Uh, second of all, are you sure you're not, like, related to the judge at all? Alto. You seem to have a certain personality traits. Your spirit is a valiant one, and your arms are made in its image. I must confess that I may have underestimated you. Unfortunately for you, I would discard all manners as a gentleman will necessary. Especially for a new enemy. Spectres, come to me! Dance together and echo the song of righteousness! The torment of men heals my wounds. Your body will feed the intangible spirits for eternity. Uh, ellipses. Phantoms? Phantoms, come to me. I command you. Danny? Danny Phantom? No? Curses! 
By what magic, baleful human, do you manage to prevent my ectoplasmic acolytes from joining me? No matter, you will taste my wrath! Meow! Meow meow! <laughs> wow, actually, he took off half my hit points in, in one go. That was, uh, that was pretty furious, little kitty. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna stomp you into the ground now, but, uh, you know, bravo! A for effort. Well, uh, maybe like a B minus for effort. Oh, there we go. Adversaries purified. How's that? Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Poor fool. Ow. It is not yet time for me to reveal my true nature. Still, know that you will gain nothing by waiting, obnoxious buffoon. Oh. Oh, wow. He, like, bamfed out. Add-on Omega has joined you. Hey, they. Hey, how you doing now? They're Omega. We're high up. It's almost like we're above. Uh, this barrier prevents me from going upstairs. It's impossible to climb any higher at this point. It's almost like we're over the fourth floor in terms of height. And all of these shelves are fake. You know, I really want to get in on this contracting business where you, <laughs> you build fake shelves. I mean, think of all the money that must have gone into this place. Who's the guy selling them these fake shelves? And what was the pitch for that? Was he like, hey, you could have real shelves that could hold things, or you could have fake ones? Uh, are, are you alright? You didn't get hurt up there? Well, at any rate, I saw a cat. I expect it to be by the south entrance. Alright. Hey there, kitty. What's up? Greetings, dear immaculate comrade. Has your journey not taken you to a place of optimum conditions? This is a drier area compared to the previous surroundings. I must admit that I, for one, am delighted. The feline gent is not very fond of rain. I have heard from an old friend that the shopping mall in the northern part of the city has fallen a victim to ectoplasmic assaults. Perhaps it would be wise for you to hurry on over there and illuminate it with your purifying light. Hey, you don't... Greetings, dear Immaculate. Oh, are you just trying to get some more text from me? Not sure if there's any flavor text that I have. Well, I don't have any. Too bad. So sad, as we say in the cat world. It's r loosely translated from meow meow, meow meow, row, meow meow, row. Okay. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, lo siento, pero no puedo hablar español. So I have no idea what that guy just said. <laughs> oh, I have to buy all new stuff for uh, Omega now. Why is he Omega? Is Alpha better than him? Does Alpha always treat him like he's he's better? You know, you know what I mean. The Alpha is always just like, "Hey there, nerd!" And the Omega circles just like, "Oh, hi, Alpha." Hey, Omega! <laughs> and the, the the Omega, like, uses his ring to, like, press the other ring down into the dirt. Or, like, scoop up dirt and kind of, like, flick it on the lower, lower rim of the, the Omega circle. Yeah, I assume that's what's happening. Alright, what we got here? Uh, well, we got the square barriers again. Please excuse this... Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. You know what? Actually, I'm getting to that that time, <laughs> that mark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this off for next time. But hey, if you like this, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord, signing off. Have a good one, guys. The Toad King. A long time ago lived an evil king. His face was so repulsive that he was nicknamed the Toad King. One day, a masked man met the king during an audience. He said, the following words to him. Greetings, wretched monarch. Leave this land at once or perish at the tip of my blade. The king replied, I am the king. Glad you are my subjects. All that you are not to go against my will. And so the masked man slew the king with his mighty sword. The end. Good. Good morals all around. This book is entitled Bismarck.